good morning. It's first light and first cast. I'm off the mark with a lively perch. It's only a small one, but it's great to get back amongst the fish. I did a session yesterday, which I didn't do a video of, but I wrote an entry on my website and I also caught there my favorite species as well, the perch. Cast out again, I'm actually fishing up against a moored boat on the far side. It's a permanently moored one as well. So again, as I've done on so many videos over the years, talked about features, that's a great one, isn't it? A moored boat at, at any time of the year, but especially so during the winter months when the canal maybe doesn't have much clarity in it in terms of color in the water. You can see the bottom. So the fish instinctively will then go somewhere where they feel a little bit more safe, a little bit more secure. And what better place than a, than a boat overhead, which to them is a, a permanent feature. They don't see it as one of those boats that moors overnight and then moves again, but it's a permanent feature. So fish up to the boat, Obviously, if there are people living there, you need to be careful and you certainly don't want to be clanging the side of the of the boat with the lead. I'm not doing that anyway, although uh, no one's on the boat. But nevertheless, a great feature. I've put some brown crumb out, some mixed maggots, my usual approach, not just on the canal, but generally that would be a good starting point for me. I'm also fishing with uh, a small lead, which apart from a pole, which allows you to present your bait in a, in a perfect place. It's a great way of fishing. A couple of ravens going over there. You can hear them, or three ravens. It's always nice to see and hear. And I'm fishing with a size 16 hook, a couple of red maggots, and I've got four pound line going straight the way through. I do list the tackle in terms of the type, the brand, etc that I fish with on the blog that this video will accompany on my website. And although there are no comments options on YouTube, just a time management thing, you can comment on my website. There's a, a menu at the top of the page and there's a guest book for uh, general comments or comments on particular blog entries. I look forward to hearing from you, but for now, over and out because it's starting to rain and I'm going to get the brolly up. A second perch, it's bigger than the first one, but why I'm showing you that there close up is that the hook is right at the edge of the mouth. Always carry a disgorger, especially this type of fishing, maggot, small hook, and perch the intended quarry. However, it's better to strike early than it is to leave it. That's a fact. A disgorger is one of those things that you always carry, but you hope that you never use. A bit like a good insurance policy. I certainly enjoyed that short session, about an hour and a half there, had a few small perch, nothing big, but I enjoyed it and that's what counts, isn't it? I'm on reduced hours at the moment. We've had no competitive football in Wales since December the 19th last year, but we do have a behind closed doors friendly later today. So I'll be on my travels later in the afternoon. However, I've got a few things to do first, including of course, get this video sorted and uploaded. If you are fishing yourself this week, tight lines and I'll see you soon.